preparing the tone. As you'll notice, Brenda put on the vision of description left ear. This is her messaging system that lets her know that there's something of a higher nature that's coming to her, not just for her, but for the benefit of all of us. Perhaps it could be that the majority of us are more inclined to disregard any messages of love from those on the other side of the veil, right? This is beyond our families and friends. This is not about mediumship. This is not about those who have opinions and discrepancies in their wisdom. But this is about the nature of the love of all of us, whether or not we understand where Brenda's soul aligns with or who she honors in her vision. It is about dignity, honesty, integrity, and vision. So when you come into this place of my society expects me to abide by certain values, that's where we're talking about, right? That's what we're talking about. We're in this place where our values are being aligned with many based on various books, systems, deeds of others, in fact, or the idea that we must be something other than who we are in each and every moment. Now, when Brenda says, I don't align with those who think that their system or book is the only way to be for all of us. And that is the nature of her wisdom, her guidance, her experiences in giving messages of love from the souls based on the systems in which they operate. If you're utilizing Gene Keys, which is one of those visions that she utilized in many ways, it becomes a great escape from the work, correct? It includes a vision of what we are working with on this plane. When we go to another plane of reality, which some are doing in their visions already, they are done trying to look for the bad in who they are. Others are saying, I just escape it once I cross over. Okay, this is where some will say, I'm utilizing a system that allows me to bypass the moments of growth here. We're not all here to grow and learn lessons through the painful discovery of who we are, correct? But this is about the nature of the all. This is about the nature of the love of all, whether or not we agree with it or not. This is about the nature of taking each one of us as we are and understanding that our souls are here for a reason and it is not necessarily in alignment with what you think your soul is here to do or to say to others. I'm not here to hold the hands of everybody through their pain process if they are not willing to look inside and ask themselves the question, if Brenda is able to bring me my own soul, why am I looking to somebody else other than that vision of who I am? That's how you align with who you are. You go in and you do the vision of who am I, not who others want me to be, not who my father wants me to be, not who my mother wants me to be, but who am I? And if it feels right, go with it. But you have to understand that within those visions of it feels good, it also may be what's holding you back from freedom, from the vision of who you think you are versus what your soul wants you to align with. This is where people come in and they say, I align with these souls because they feel good for me. We enjoy our time together. We have a billion things to talk about from the place of where Brenda resides. She is constantly on the guard for those of religion who are basically telling her there is something wrong with her, correct? No, she already knows where that vision goes and she honors it for what it is. If she needed to bring through Bible passages, she would do so, but it would be at the expense of the future vision of where those souls are going. There is enough information already for people to have those visions looked at carefully. If they are in the path of spirituality, it is just as conditioned as that of religious institutions. 
And so that's why we want people to honor the vision of why she has separated from many of those systems of old and new that are hampering or hindering those of us here who are rising in the vision of who we are as love for ourselves and the love of those around us most often. Okay, when we can reach the vision of I understand you, which is her version of what loving is. I understand you need various tools of discovery in order to open up to your heart. I understand that you need to be of faith in order to be free from who you are. That's what many are saying. They understand that those systems provide them a higher level of understanding about certain aspects of who they are. So while they will not be diminished in the, in the mind, they are very much enlightening as a process of discovery of other aspects of who they may or may not be. There's no right or wrong in this vision of soul. It's just whether or not people want to hear about it. Okay? So when Brenda says that she has been able to enlighten others to the nature of where their souls are based on the systems in which they're operating, it doesn't mean it's the best one for everybody else. So while you may be getting the confirmation messages from your own soul about your vision, it doesn't mean that it's the right one for everybody. And this holds true for Brenda. I let go of the vision of systems for the most part versus an experiential soul vision of let's learn to enjoy each other in every breath, right? That means myself included. So that's why I don't necessarily hold uh, those who are against me in their minds as evil. I don't even allow for that vision for the most part because it really is not making any sense for most people. It's a subjective vision and projection of the mind only. Our souls go higher. And that's why you'll hear the vision of love for all of us in various tones. When my wisdom comes through from the soul of a Jesus soul, we have to understand that that vision is just as strong in its vision of what it is here to do on this plane from various levels of love. And those timeless moments of love for that soul were very much of an honoring of the vision for his soul, his vision of life at his moment in his place and time in which he vibrates. So while others are keeping the memories alive and stoking the vision of love of all, that might be what that vision is doing. How it did it, though, was definitely hijacked by certain souls and turned into something that it was not intended to be. It's not intended to be held against the hearts and minds of anyone else. It's there as a guidance system only, not as a dictate or a rule-bearing vision. We don't have the rules on the soul level that others are placing upon it here. This is why we love the vision of those who are trying to utilize it, for they will then see the limitations that they are trying to place on themselves and others for the benefit of all, correct? Or is it for the benefit of someone else's memory, right? Many people will start to say, but my family had a great experience within this vision. That's beautiful. But once you understand the nature of where Brenda is saying, and many others are doing so from other wisdoms and planes of enlightenment, that those souls who have limited themselves are also feeling as if they need to limit who we are. And when we say that, it could come from various realms of love, adoration, soul vision, soul wisdom. We bring through the guidance for others who say wisdom is around the corner for all of us. Brenda is handed her future to her daily, and it comes to her in spades. She honors it as a love from her soul to her, letting her know she's being guided by her own soul and not the soul of someone else who has a, quote, dictate vision in his soul's mind. We know very few people who want to be under the thumb of someone else's soul, and we tell them that, correct? But many are here to guide themselves to those who can lead them to a better place is what they're assuming, when in fact the parallel dimensions is what many of science are working through in their minds versus the idea of multidimensional understanding as souls. 
and we can bring back those visions of love from various places that honor us for where we are. So this is not going to align with those who have a one-step process into the vision of, I love who I am and I'm going to be saved by somebody. That's not the necessary ingredient for the love of all, for the most part. It can be a uniting vision for many. What happens is then you create the vision of I need to be saved and you're under the thumb of another in the mind of I am fearful for my life, my liberty, or my pursuit of happiness, right? How many people are saying, no, I flourish in it. But in, in an instant, what you'll understand is that those who do not align with that vision are being persecuted for their livelihoods or various other things and are not in the same, quote, enjoyment process that those souls are. However, her soul has acknowledged that those souls who honor that vision and say, yes, this is just my own internal vision of discovery and enlightenment, and I am pl pleasured by the visions that I receive when I look into those books of old and see the visions of philosophical messaging, perhaps, or inspirational writings. That is where the majority of those souls were writing from versus the idea that I have it all figured out for everybody at all times. It is of the moment for the most part, and those moments have been altered in the books of old in various ways, and yet they still do not vibrate in the beauty of the love of all from the highest point of view. And that is what most are starting to understand when they see the issues surrounding those quotes in those books that are being discovered to be of ill context. It's not an intentional hurting of us. It was just a mistaken identity for many of us. Many will think that if I'm being told the truth about a source or a wisdom that I utilize, that it is somehow demeaned by my soul. It is not. So if you're utilizing those good books, they are cherished, adored always by many, but they will have their limitations freed from them by those of scholarly research. And we encourage everyone to start looking into the critical scholarship of those who have actually discovered the visions from the vision of scholarly research and interpretation based on linguistic understanding. That's one message of love. The other is that Brenda's own soul has said, I know how to hand people their soul's vision that tells them where they are operating in certain systems, even if the messages of those on this plane say you are somewhere else in that system. So for instance, Brenda has a friend who she loves and adores who is utilizing a system based on the idea of numerology. And she was given the reality of where she actually was vibrating in the system versus what was told based on a calendar system in which she was working. That is the beauty of your soul that knows how to handle those kinds of vibrations and wisdoms. And so we want to honor those who say, I need to be somebody else's soul in order to be freed from who I am. What they are saying is my experience here is so painful that I need to create from a place of I love this other soul so much and I know I'm loved and adored by that one enough that they will not put me through the hell in which I'm vibrating as it might be described in their minds. Okay, so many are trying to free themselves from this vision of I'm in hell versus I'm creating from a place of discovery of who I am from pain most often, scary places that others have created for me, or the visions of love that I don't care for in my mind. Because in essence, the love is all around us. We just haven't reached for it. We have to reach for the love of all if we want to embrace it. But that doesn't mean that it, it's a, I agree with everything that you agree with other than it's best for you not necessarily what's best for myself or for everybody else. And that's the wisdom of being able to prove to people that their souls are actually online, working with them, able to bring through the love for their hearts in a moment and say, yes, you're cared for and adored always. You get your future handed to you. You get put on paths of discovery of who you are from a place of understanding that life isn't always about guiding us to those who only want to feel happiness versus I'm accepting of myself in this moment, even when it's a little rough around the edges. 
Even when life hands me a little bit of lemons, I can try to make the lemonade out of it, right? So a lot of the people who are dismissing the vision of what guidance is would say it's not about always handing you the best outcome for you on this plane, but it's about the process of enjoyment for most of us. And that's why we want to honor those who say, I'm in the process of enjoyment of who I am, even in those moments of discovery of Negroes versus whites. You see, I had to hear from the souls who had those institutions for them saying this lifted it up, us up in times and moments of discovery. And that's why people are justifying those visions by saying this lifted us up in our moments as much as it basically didn't lift others up or it is holding others back. We cannot just describe one book of old and say that it is all that and more. This is not about just the Bible. It's about many books that people are utilizing to hold themselves up. That's a beautiful vision. But if you think it is about condemn condemning others in their vision of what they are portraying themselves as, you might want to think again. It's not the highest of the high, okay? And that's where people will start to understand that vision. And that was the nature of where that soul, Jesus, was really truly operating. I'm here to free people from the limitations that others placed upon our hearts and our minds. He's of one in his mind. He's a unit of discovery for many. And others are saying, but I'm discovering through various phases of the moon. Brenda knows what that is, in fact, as well. Those who are utilizing systems, it's like various systems based on that idea of the sun, the stars, the moon, okay? All those systems have their hearts intact. But it's not from a place of I need everyone else to abide by this book. And this is why she is free from those who say, I utilize a book that tells me how to be. It tells me how to act and how to treat others in every moment of every breath, correct? Most people are not walking in those books with every moment of every breath. And that's what we want people to understand. It's also why many don't get the same kinds of experiences in the vision of I'm utilizing those books of old. They might be freed from the fear of the unknown and that's utilizing others' visions of I'm there to be the known for those who are afraid of the unknown of the afterlife, perhaps. Brenda travels many realms and all are discoverable, discoverable by many here because she joins with those who are actually enjoying others and loving others wherever they are for the most part. It's not about saying my system is better than. It's about saying let's enjoy the ride along the way. We honor those who need various systems or books in order to highlight themselves in various ways or discover themselves in various ways. But understand that those visions are about discovering yourself and not about trying to label others as less than. It's about the self-discovery process of who we are and those who can handle the visions of I've got access to all your souls on the line means that it, it feels discordant for certain souls to say, but I feel like I'm being dishonored in my vision if my own soul says that everyone, including myself, is supposed to act this way. That was a guidance system for certain souls at certain moments who are not in the vision of understanding who we are as souls. We're not here to be the same. We're here as one, but we're all utilizing various tools of discovery or not, right? Just living our life. We're still utilizing tools, right? Of conditioning, right? The laws tell us how to be. So we're vibrating in the beauty of the justice system in its various forms. For those on this planet, they all have different ideas about how we discover each other. So that's the nature. If I was in another plane of discovery, for instance, as Brenda would say, if I was born on the East Coast versus the West Coast, I might have a different perspective about what the United States looks like. 
It's not until we travel into the other realms of love that we start to get an understanding of who feels good and why. If I'm honoring of who they are, they honor me, is where most go. However, others are not so carefree in their, quote, I am not able to purchase a possession card and place it on Brenda. That's where some that she knows would operate. Even as she gave them their true messages of future and wisdom and people and places that they know of that she has no idea of. They would think it's ill will because it's somehow scary versus it's the opportunity for those of us who free ourselves from that kind of fear to then see ourselves as beautiful always and not need to even really condemn those who have those visions. That's where they are. They're in the fear of other. They're in the fear of themselves. And it's about a natural progression that many in spirituality are now partaking in. So we go away from those who are trying to create fear to those of us who say, I know how to handle my heart. I know how to align with the highest vision of who I am. Not someone else's vision. I don't need to align with someone else to save me. I ask myself and my soul, what's the best path forward for myself? Now, when those of you who rise in the vision of love of self start to understand that one or two people who love me and adore me on a soul level are very often in conflict with who they are. And so sometimes I get some conflicting messages because I know in my mind I have certain obligations to those souls of the good old books and I have certain obligations to those who are free of the conditioning of those books and the limitations of those books and the lies and half-truths that are in some of those books. As any book of fiction, it is a philosophical understanding. Brenda utilizes those visions more as a philosophical understanding versus the way it is to be. But those who are serious in those visions of I want to land on a certain plane will do so temporarily before they unhinge themselves from the idea that I'm just here or there. Okay, so this is about letting you know you don't need to hear yourself from various planes. You just aim for the highest part of who you are in the moment. And then you can free yourself from the fear of anything else. Because you're not vibrating in the fear of anybody else. So that's what people need to read into those visions. Is this spreading fear of other? Or is this spreading fear of myself? Because if it's spreading fear of other, it's also spreading fear of self. And that's the highest message that you're going to get for the most part, as people realize what they vibrate in versus what they honor. And so with that, we want to say thank you for watching. We want to honor all of you with hugs and adorations from your own souls of love of family, for they do rise in those visions of prayers often, for those of you who are of that system. And that ability and talent to let go gracefully into those good nights so with that i want to say thank you for watching again and remember as my soul guided me to do stay curious wise and soulful have a wonderful day